mom and my dad, when I was very little, they were separated and they were both alcoholics. When I was little, I was about four or five, I was molested by my, a babysitter. And when I was about nine, I was molested by my grandpa. And then when I was 14, I was staying with my mom and she was, she had got on pills real bad. That's when I started my mess is when I was 15. Mess, marijuana, crack. I wasn't in school whenever my mom got bad on pills. She kind of left us and I took care of my little brother and my sister and then we ended up separated somehow. And that's when I hunted down my mom on Facebook and she was staying in some hotel with some guy and she was uh, she was selling pills and um, I would watch men use her for her pills and then I would take care of her when she was dope sick. My, my brother ended up at a neighbor's house. My sister was with some friend, um, but my brother ended up foster care. I just lived on the streets. I thought really that that all I was ever gonna be was someone who was addicted to drugs. One day I was just, I was sick of myself and I ran and I went into the middle of the woods and I dropped to my knees and I started praying to a guy that I didn't even know and basically asking him just to save me and help me and save me from myself. And a few days later, my sister called. She told me about this place and when they had came pick me up, instead of me fighting back, she said it was like I was floating in God's hands because usually I would have fought back. Well, when I got here, and I learned that it was all about God, and so I started praying every day. And I just, something like changed in me, and it just felt, I felt loved, I felt joy, I felt peace. I'm very thankful for God to have pulled me out of the darkness I was in, and to be able to grow a relationship with Him. I'm blessed for the hope that He gives me in the future.